Hi, I'm Scott Ferguson. I'm an editor with Light Reading and Security Now, and we're at RSA 2018 here in San Francisco. And we're talking to David Schultz. He is the Vice President of Business Development at Janus Technologies. David, thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you, Scott. Um, so, who is Janus Technologies? Tell us a little bit about the company. So we're a privately held company uh, headquartered in the Silicon Valley. We serve large enterprise customers, primarily in government, defense, manufacturing, and financial services. And we partner with large system integrators, consultants, and specialty VARs to ensure successful customer deployments. And what makes what Janus does in endpoint security different than what you see out there from some of the other, your competitors and what else is out there in the market? Right, so we take a totally different approach to enterprise security. We take endpoint security all the way down to the BIOS level. This to ensure tr uh, core tr trust all the way from the BIOS, all the way up through the system. This is a unique uh, differentiator for us in the marketplace. Now you got some examples uh, that you want to show us, so uh, you want to see, see a little bit how this technology yes, works? Yes, absolutely, Scott. So firstly, we have the Janus Secure Desktop Unit. This has a single CPU with a dual OS. We have a situation where we have a, a secured network and an unsecured network, and we separate or air gap the two. And we're going to show a typical use case. Uh, Marwell is going to launch through email a link. Typically, the policy from IT would be that that link would not be uh, able to open on this side. He brings it over through our system and launches it on the unsecured side. So if there is any kind of attack or threat, we can go ahead and, and shut and reboot this system down and back to its original uh, state or golden state. So secondly, we're going to show how we provide the same high level of security without jeopardizing uh, system performance. What Morel's going to do is he's going to open up an application, an AutoCAD 3D rendering, and he's going to move very quickly. And note that all of this is taking place in the hypervisor layer that we embed into the BIOS. So this is not actually being rendered as an application sitting in an operating system. It's actually virtualized down all the way to the BIOS. And so there's no degradation to performance, yet we get um, the same level of security that you would expect from a system like this. So the same functionality and features that I demonstrated in the secure desktop unit can also be found in the VIO um, S13 product that we just announced integration with here at the uh, RSA show. And although it's one single screen, we virtualized it so you can actually have dual OS and you can toggle back and forth between the two, the secured side and the unsecured side. Lastly, I'm going to show you the Janus management system with monitoring and analytics. This is where we track each and every user activity down to every action, every mouse click, every keyboard stroke. All the things that we showed in the previous demonstration have, have all been monitored. And we show this in an easy movie type format so you can go through the timeline and look at what took place at every moment in time. Uh, David, thank you so much for all those demos. Um, tell us a little bit about what clients or industries really benefit from this technology. Yes, Scott. So we address industries that have a strong need for extra security at the endpoint level. Our customers recognize that their existing software and network measures are just not enough to protect their endpoints. So we provide tremendous value to our customers through our technology that is BIOS-based. And if people want to find out more about Janus, where do they have to go? Yeah, please visit us, our website at janustech.com or please connect with us at LinkedIn. We would love for you to reach out. We'd like to connect with you, provide a demonstration, and have one of our representatives do a discovery call. Great. David, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Scott. Appreciate it.